Today's video is made possible by Hulu Plus. For a free extended two week trial period, head over to huluplus.com forward slash TOT. Hey fans and family, welcome back once again to another edition of Tech of Tomorrow. We're bringing you all the tech all the time. Now, everybody knows 2013 is coming to an end and there were a lot of video cards that came out in this year. Now, we're going to bring you guys the top five first, but we want to give honorable mention right off the bat to the GTX 650 Ti Boost because this card for being $150 plays 1080p games incredibly well. Some of their medium and high settings, this thing kicks ass and at 150 bucks, it just really can't be beat. So it's worth with honorable mention. Now, obviously it's not gonna be in the top five video cards because those are gonna be some of the higher cards. So now let's jump in and let's talk about which cards are the top five video cards of 2013. Kicking off at number five, the AMD R9 270X. Now this is the best video card for $200. It plays most games running at 1080p at high to ultra settings. Now, obviously, there are going to be a lot of different models out there for you guys to choose from. We'll have a list down there below where you guys can check those out. Now, next up, the GTX 770. I know a lot of people out there are going to be saying, hey, man, why didn't you choose the 280X? It's $30 cheaper, yada, yada, yada. Well, the main reason that the 770 pulls ahead right now is availability and pricing. I don't know if you guys have actually checked it out right now, but 280Xs have pretty much come like a drop of water in the desert and prices have shot up on them amazingly right now. Some cards even over $100. So that's the reasoning we're giving the edge to the GTX 770. Obviously, prices might be changing. You guys can come back and check things out in a couple of months and maybe things might be a little different. And at that point, we'll revisit it. But for now, the 770 just pokes ahead by just a wee little bit. Now, next up, a favorite of everybody out there, the R9 290. Personally, I think for the money that the R9 290 is a very, very good card. It plays everything unbelievably good. It runs not as hot as the 290X. It's a little bit quieter, and obviously pricing is much better. So this one comes in at number three. And hey, I think it's a very good situated card for that position. Next up, coming into the number two position, we have a tie between NVIDIA and AMD. This goes out to the 780 and the R9 290X. Now, obviously, the R9 290X is a faster card. I mean, hell, you guys have seen it. It bit slaps the Titan in some things. But unfortunately, though, it also runs very, very hot and it's very hard to overclock. Now the 780, although it's not as fast out of the box, it actually has a lot more room for overclocking and runs a lot cooler. That's why we give these cards the complete tie across the board. Now, in the number one position, drrr, drum roll please, you guys all know it, the fastest card of the year is the new GTX 780 Ti. In this particular instance, Nvidia takes the crown hands down because this is the fastest single GPU card that they have on the market right now. Now, I know that things can change up and AMD might throw something in the ring a week from now, but for right now, at this moment in time, these are the top five video cards of the year with the GTX 780 ATI being number one. So there you have it, folks, the top five video cards of 2013. Special thanks once again to Hulu Plus for making this video possible. And we'd like to hear from you guys. If you guys have your own special five cards that you think, please list them down below in the comment section and let's know how you feel. Or if you feel a different card is number one, let's hear that as well. So I know many of you PC users out there know what Hulu is, but do you guys really know what Hulu Plus is? Because Hulu Plus is like a whole different level. Hulu Plus is like taking that standard video card, slapping a water cooler on it, and getting the absolute most bang for your buck. Just all kinds of content. Now, with the standard Hulu, you can only watch it on your PC. But with Hulu Plus, baby, you can take that on the go, on your tablet, on your phone. With Hulu Plus, you can catch up on current shows, binge on old favorites, or watch a great movie. 
Stream as many TV shows and movies as you want, anytime, anywhere. You can also check out exclusive content, including Hulu originals like The Wrong Mans and Behind the Mask. Best of all, you can watch all of this content in HD. Now, I know a lot of people always ask, how can you guys support the site? Well, at this time, you can support the site and get your guys a free extended trial period just by going to HuluPlus.com forward slash T-O-T, where you can enjoy Hulu Plus for two weeks. All right, folks, now before I bounce out of here, in case you missed anything, if you have any questions, all of the information about this video will be down there in the description below the like button. Now, please don't turn this into a fanboy war, leaving a bunch of crazy comments. Obviously, if you love AMD, you love AMD. If you love NVIDIA, you love NVIDIA. That's just the way it is. Let's not have any fighting down there, kitties. Let's keep it clean. I'm Elric. We'll see you guys back here on Tech of Tomorrow for more from Tech Goodness.